Hey kids, and welcome to the MMA Fight Picks Podcast. I am your host, Aaron Weinbaum, and today I am broadcasting on the road, so no fancy uh, graphics or anything like that today, uh, just uh, me and my USB headset on the road. I'm at the River City Casino in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, this place is kind of a dump, I'm not going to lie. They stuck me in a smoking room, there was no hot water this morning, but hey man, I'm here and I'm picking the fights for UFC 236, or it should be like 235A. There are two interim belts on the line. Uh, the main event is Dustin Poirier and Max Holloway 2. So, awesome. We're going to just go into this. Uh, I had planned originally to try to have uh, like Quinta on. Uh, alas, it did not work out. He's training for a fight. I don't really like to pester a guy uh, so much when he is doing that. If you're on the Periscope, be sure and say hi. If you're on the YouTube Hit subscribe, wherever that may be. And uh, welcome new MMA Torch fans as well. You can also find me on AaronSaysWhat.com and click on the MMA Fight Picks tab. Uh, first up, OSP, Ovince St. Peru versus Nikita Krylov. All right, so OSP last went up, or yeah, he went up against Dominic Hayes, who probably, I would say, is fighting for a title real close or uh probably one fight away uh for that he beat tyson pedro lost to uh latifi which i i got that one way wrong i thought that uh i thought osp had his number but he's got some normal wins you know Corey anderson um he had this streak where he lost three in a row but you know that's that's been you know 2016 2017 all against the top guys you know john jones jimmy manawa Volkan Uzdemir, and then you got Nikita Krylov. Um, not exactly a household name. Last loss to Jan Blockwitz, who is now fighting Luke Rockhold. That's awesome turn of events there. Um, has wins over Fabio Maliando. I mean, it's not really the most impressive uh, resume here. It looks like they're kind of trying to build OSP up. Of course, I said... You know, the same thing about uh, Joe Duffy a few weeks ago, and he ended up losing in spectacular fashion. But I'm going to go with OSP here. I think the experience, I think the strength of schedule, uh, it takes care of things. Eric Anders, Khalil Roundtree, Roundtree rather. Uh, Eric Anders coming off two tough losses, uh, which he could have very easily won the Elias fight. Sorry, split decision, but I didn't like him taking that Tiago Santos fight. You know, he's moving up weight class. Santos was kind of already there. He had just fought. He had to go to Brazil. I know he didn't have to cut as much weight, but there was just nothing like about that situation I liked. But, you know, you take these risks. This is the fight game. You're trying to get your name out there. So, you know, more power to him there. Um, and let's see. He beat Tim Williams. Not really know a whole lot about that. Uh, Leota Machido, you know, he took that fight too. And I think it was just an experience thing with Leota. Um, and then you got... Uh, Khalil Roundtree, last loss to Johnny Walker, um, which I guess that was a 205-pound fight. Um, let's see here. I'm trying I'm trying to figure out here what, what the deal was. Yeah, so I guess he's moving down. Um, before that, oh, I'm trying to think here. Um, hang on here. I know I just got a comment. I need to figure out. Off. Air on point. Rala, shout out. Hey, thanks, man. That's cool. Off air on point. Rala, shout out. Why I'm always grinding. you the man, man. Uh, uh, I like to who this is. That's cool. Ah, uh, Rala is, of course, my, my hometown. I went to school there. Why I'm is always grinding. I think Eric Anders takes his, um, you know, it, Routree hasn't exactly been on a tear either, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Eric Anders. Just a little more experience, more comfortable with the weight class. All right, interim title number one, Kelvin Gastulum, Israel Asanya. Man, um, oh, no. Hang on here. I just accidentally messed. This is what happens. Why would anyone think Dustin can beat Max? You know what? I'm getting to that. I will absolutely address that. But first, I'm going to pick uh, Kelvin versus uh Israel Adesanya. All right, so Kelvin Gastelum, you know, he's not that big of a middleweight, but he's obviously 
too big to cut welterweight or, or, you know, whatever it is that's wrong with his diet. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm not a nutritionist. Um, but, you know, he if there was a 195-pound – or I'm sorry, 175-pound weight class, he, he'd probably be better suited to that. But there isn't. So here he is um, fighting at middleweight. He beat – uh, Ronaldo Jacare Souza. And let's a little backstory here. He actually was scheduled to face current champion um, Robert Whitaker, and what an unfortunate incident he had. Uh, you know, having to have surgery the day of. That was so. That was that just stunk. But uh, he's got wins over Ronaldo Souza, uh, Michael Bisping on short notice. Lost Chris Weidman. He, okay, and that's the difference in the weight class. You know, Weidman could easily be at the 195 pound weight class if that existed or 205 um he's a big dude you know we just saw Luke Rockhold he's moving up as well and when he was standing next to Chris Weidman Kelvin rather I mean Chris was just huge and he nearly took Chris out with a punch um but you know he he didn't finish it and Chris was just too big too strong and uh, he nailed it. You know, he beat Vitor. Well, it's a no contest because he tested for weed or something like that. Uh, beat Tim Kennedy, retired Tim Kennedy. Um, yeah, I mean, why not? Why not give him the title shot? And then you got Israel Adesanya, who just had a real neat fight against, uh, I said neat, yeah, against Anderson Silva. But, you know, the guy's not tasted defeat yet you know he beat Derek Brunson Brad Tavares which you know it's a big test because I thought I, I thought Brad would be able to to wrestle him a little bit here um but beating Anderson Silva now and beating Anderson Silva you know 10 years ago that's a different deal and, and, and we're seeing this kind of thing now where you know fighters are beating guys that are on their way out you know, about to retire, no disrespect whatsoever to those fighters, but then all of a sudden it's like, they're the new name, so why, let's do it, let's give them a title shot, and I, I feel like that's what's happening, so, um, you know, that being said, I, I like Kelvin in this fight, I like his chin, he goes forward, and I think, obviously, if he puts hands on him, you know, he's going to be the stronger wrestler, um, sure, you know, Israel can defend uh, takedowns and this and that, but that's a little wearing on him. I don't think he's ever came up uh, fighting a guy like Kelvin Gastelum, who, uh, you know, we'll just see what happens. But I, I think I think Kelvin's got this. He's the interim champ. After this, hopefully we see a matchup with Whitaker. I think he matches up well with Whitaker, too. But, you know, the rest of those guys in the division, not so sure. Um, you know, like we saw what happened when he faces a bigger guy like, like uh, Chris Weidman. Um, you know, but Robert shows he, he can go up against those bigger guys. And we saw what he did against Yoel Romero. So that's my pick. Kelvin, new interim champ. All right, next up, uh, you asked for it. Here it is, bud. Max Holloway, Dustin Poirier. They last fought years ago, 2012, um, at 145 pounds. This is for the interim belt uh, at 155 pounds. Or as I like to call the rental belt until Al Iaquinta comes and... Uh, Fights for the real thing. But, no, in all seriousness, uh, you know, Dustin been on a tear. Beats Eddie Alvarez. Beats Justin Gaethje. Beats Anthony Pettis. Uh, he had that weird no contest against Eddie Alvarez. I, I, you know, no comment there. Um, you know, he had one little stumbling block here at 155 pounds against Michael Johnson. It happens. You slug it out. Um, before that, um, gosh dang, that fight with Joe Duffy was amazing, too. Uh, just the way it came down to it. At the very end, um, I mean, he broke Joe Lefty's face, and these guys were just killing it. Um, but, you know, they fought 145 pounds. Okay, this is way back 2012. Uh, Max got submitted um, by a mounted triangle armbar. So, yeah, interesting. And then, of course, you got Max Blessed Holloway. Ah, uh, what a spectacular fight about uh, against uh, Ryan Ortega. That uh, oh yeah, go back and watch that first fight for sure. Uh against Brian Ortega, and everyone was worried about the the weight cut, his lack of way, and and they were picking Brian to win, which was crazy. You, you know they it, it, they did the same with Ike went a while back too. They you know were associating octagon absence, you know for whatever reason, injuries, you know whatever with 
lack of improvement, lack of getting better. And boy, did Max prove that he could cut the weight and come in and beat Brian Ortega in spectacular fashion. Hasn't lost a fight since Connor 2013. And what a different fighter he is now. Um, that being said, here's the pick. I'm going to go against popular opinion here. Uh, I like Dustin in this fight. I think when they first fought that, um, you know, Dustin, he was having trouble with the weight. He was certainly not performing at his best. You know, Max was smaller. He was more comfortable at that weight. Uh, and he proved what happened when he go up. And, uh, you know, Max doesn't show that. He shows he's at full capacity at 145 pounds. Um, why wouldn't I think history is not going to repeat itself, you know? And, he, and Dustin's going to be the bigger guy here, more comfortable in the weight class. I don't know how that's going to feel for Max. And, may, and uh, maybe he'll have more energy. Maybe he'll be stronger, quicker, faster. I don't know. But I like to think Dustin in the rematch here, uh, he gets it done again. And that's one of those weird deals, too. You know, it may be that Dustin just has his number. Maybe that I'm wrong. But that's my picks. Sorry, this one's so short. I have a meeting here in, oh, one minute. Here at the River City Casino in St. Louis, Missouri. So uh, until next time, shalom. Please remember to support the podcast by visiting the affiliate links on AaronSaysWhat.com.